Oh, we ended up going to get our nails done y'all so i got my nails done and we just arrived at the tattoo shop and I'm about to go ahead and go get my piercing so today's video as y'all could probably already tell by the title i'm gonna be telling you guys the experience of my navel piercing i got the bottom of it pierced uh, I already had the top one, so as y'all can see by the thumbnail, I just literally went ahead and got the second one pierced. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about it. I might have you take that one out so I can pierce this, just because that one sits pretty low. Will I be able to put this one back in? You can. It might rest on it, but it might be too uncomfortable. Deep breath in, let it out nice and slow. Are you good? Be able to wear both pretty comfortably. Mm -hmm. That one's a little bit farther back. Okay. All right. So, first things first. Uh, the reason why I got this prison, I only got this prison because I actually been thinking about getting this prison for a while, and it's actually pretty freaking cute. So I decided, why not go ahead and just get it? Of course. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 12 piercings 12 i literally want my whole ear over here to like be pierced up so we're gonna get that soon enough so um we're gonna go ahead and go into the navel piercing and say about the pain and everything so first things first it was a pretty much a quick little piercing thing he had me stand up and he marked where he wanted to put it at and since i already had a navel piercing the top navel piercing he had to take it out to to pierce how you're supposed to be so i feel like if you just got your top navel piercing pierced then you should wait to get your other one because i did have to take my top one out and we were able to put it back in because i got my top one done like a year or probably like two years ago because my son's about to be two um the pain level the pain level was about a eight because i have fat there and not a lot of people got fat there. Some people just be small, but I had a lot of fat there. So he was piercing through fat because I'm fat. So it was an eight out of 10. I feel like it's gonna depend on the person's body on how their body is set up. Honestly, it's, it pretty much depends on that. Um, second thing, the taking care of it. The taking care of it. So I use this new 
Neil Med Wound Wash Saline Solution. And this is a saline solution that I use for every single last one of my piercings. So you just get this and you get some cotton swabs. You can find this at um, CVS Pharmacy. You can find this at Walgreens. You can find this at Walmart. It's just a over-the-counter type of thing. And it's just a saline solution. Um, And you get you some cotton swabs. And you can also get that at Walmart, Dollar General, any of the stores. It's pretty much cheap. This is probably all going to cost you less than $10. Um, next thing, the piercing bled a lot because probably because they were piercing through skin, but the piercing did bleed a lot. So if you're like planning on throwing on your little white shirts afterwards, go ahead and charge that one to the game because my piercing is still bleeding and I got it done a little while ago. That's pretty much it, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Bessie Naila, Snapchat Bessie Innocent, and Twitter at Bessie Naila.